So, yeah, welcome. Thank you uh, that I can be here. Um, good morning and good evening to all of you, wherever you are. Uh, I'm a technical innovation manager at Ravensburger and I'm uh, working, bringing electronics into games and other toy products for, for 19 years now. And also we had some um, products with uh, admitted electronics or some tryouts and some demonstrators and that I wanted to show you our experiences with this. Um, first, yeah, let me, uh, yeah, this is the contents. I give you a company introduction and then I have three projects which I'll tell you about. Some uh, words to the company, to Ravensburger. Um, we consider us an international corporation since we now have uh, several places um, in, uh, in the world where we develop the products, also where we manufacture. Uh, Maine is still uh, in, in Germany, in Ravensburg, but as you said, we have in Malmö, in Sweden, we have a team, we have uh, several teams in the US um, that develop products. And um, our company is set up in, in six, let's say, product categories. Um, the, the games, uh, board games, card games, and the puzzles, probably the most known ones worldwide. Um, we have books in the German speaking market. And um, uh, play sets is, is what you know, the, the Brio brand. So the um, the construction sets, the wooden toys, the, um, the trains. Um, we have our line uh, called construction and arts and crafts. Put together arts and crafts is uh, painting by numbers, coloring and craft products. And construction is uh, one big line of uh, a marble track uh, run called Prairie Tracks. And last uh, but not least, we have a uh, division which is more B2B, uh, which does um, Builds up children place areas, brand stores, uh, but also has a theme park uh, here in southern Germany called the Rams for the Spiel. Yeah, the company has 2,300 employees worldwide and uh, had a revenue of 630 million last year. Uh, yeah, some more figures. Um, I think you, you can see for yourself how many games we sold, how many puzzles. Uh, important to say is that last year we had a big growth, um, which was uh, due to the pandemic situations. The products were really, um, yeah, they were well uh, sought after. Uh, books, games, puzzles. Um, this growth won't probably continue every year, but we had this last year. Um, what I want to mention is that um, we have, if I mention the supply chain, we have our own production. Uh, we have one, two production sites. One is here in Ravensburg in Germany and one is in the Czech Republic. That means um, a big part of our products, around 70% we produce ourselves. Mainly everything which is done out of uh, cardboard, paper, the printing, the cutting, the gluing, uh, but also um, plastic injection molding. We have a big number of machines um, and even plastic injection molding machines uh, together with um, uh, printing, uh, digital printing, so they'll print directly on the, on the plastic parts. Sales team is also uh, worldwide um, strong. We have our own sales team in uh, North America, in Europe, um, and uh, in China, Japan uh, mainly. And for the rest of the world, we work together with uh, distributors. Um, but you get our products, mainly the puzzles, especially you get it uh, nearly all over the world. That's about the company. And um, if you look at typical Ramensburger products, what we do, uh, these uh, like the jigsaw puzzles, the games, uh, the books, um, this painting by numbers. Um, I chose these because their basic material is paper and cardboard. And um, since we yeah, we started to do electronics in a lot of products of electronics about 20 years ago. We always try to combine this in a nice way, you know, paper and cardboard with electronics. And um, I will show you uh, some experiments where we did it. The, the first one, um, which I started when I, uh, after I entered the company, we did this uh, King Arthur, uh, an electronic board game, which had a uh, game board. Um, with electronic built in and on. 